So there's two main objectives that people can accomplish with hosted sign-up pages. One is like on your mobile website or your regular website, you may want to have a spot where people can sign up for a, uh, a plan and click the buy now button and when they click the buy now button it goes to a page where they can sign, put in their credit card information, accept the terms and conditions, authorize that it's going to be charged and hit submit and that money goes right into your account and their account is automatically generated and they get an email that says hey welcome to the platform right and you can customize that email and everything else here's another example here's a website it's got five different plans listed if they click on one of these plans like the pro plan for ninety nine dollars a month it then takes them to a page with your logo on it and the name of the plan and it tells them how much it's going to cost and it has the, uh, they put in their credit card information, accept the terms and conditions, and hit sign up. And when they do, the money goes right into your account, right? How do you create that? Well, the first thing that you have to have is you have to set up, when you log in, you have to set up your integrated billing. So you have to put in your payment gateway, and then uh, put in your information and save it. Because that's what you have to have in order to be able to accept payments. If you don't have an authorized.net account, you can sign up for a PayPal Pro account, and you can put in your information here and that will that will um, be sufficient. So then you go, the next step is to go to accounts and settings and go to your hosted signup pages. Then you can create a new signup. Now you're gonna create a plan, whichever plan you want. For instance, let's say that I was going to uh, create the standard plan, $49 a month, everything, whatever's included, five keywords, 650 text messages, three cents per text message. So I go in here and I name it the standard plan or whatever I want to name it. And then I select what kind, of, it's a client because it's a client signing up. Here I would put my terms of service URL. So if you've got your own terms of service, you would put that right here, uh, the URL where they can view that terms of service right here. Um, this is where you turn on or off where they have to accept to be able to get emails or text message from uh, from you. So during the uh, registration process, when they're signing up, one of the questions that it asks them, um, by checking this box, uh, opts you in to receive email updates from our company. And by checking this box, you're going to receive text messages. So that's what those two, uh, two on-off switches do, so we can turn those on. Cancellation policy, if you have a particular cancellation policy, you can type it in here, and then it would appear down here is one of the items that they have to accept, which is your cancellation. Um, optional links, if you have other links that you want them to view and accept, you can do that. Success page URL. You can create a success page for people to sign up off of your website uh, or on your website and um, don't put it in the menu of your website, but it's a, a URL where when somebody goes through and does the sign up process and hits sign up and it's successful, they land on your success page and that's the URL that you want to put there. Um, this is, uh, you can change this to whatever you want. This would be where the emails come from when they get their successful email. So once they've signed up, they get a successful email that says, hey, welcome to the platform and uh, their username and password. The, what email do you want it to come from? Blind Carbon Copy, this is where you put your email address so that when somebody signs up, you get a notification, hey, this person just signed up for a new account. This is where you can customize the email that is sent to people upon successful upon success. So here you would put in whatever you want to say in your subject line. And down here is where you can say, you know, thank you for your enrollment with our company XYZ. And you can put that down here. You can change any of this information that you want. Don't change this information because that's where we put in the URL of where they log in and the username and password. This is your URL and this is where we automatically put in the username and password because we automatically generate that. But the rest of it, you can change. So now I go up to my sign up plan permissions. This is where I'm going to put in what permissions when somebody signs up for standard plan one, what, what do I want them to see? So I can turn off or on API documentation. Um, you know, do I want them to be able to see uh, my account, my statements, my users? These are the menu items that I want that they can see. They're a client. I don't want them to see the GUI editor, so I'm going to take that off. I'll allow them to add a new user. Dashboard logout. 
marketing platform, here's where I assign what shortcode, depending on which shortcodes I've assigned to me, that I want them to get. So if somebody's signing up for this plan, I want them to get shortcode 28748. Here I could disable like um, any of the features that I wanted. So for instance, if in this plan they didn't get trivia, text to win, surveys, social media, or uh, redeemable mobile coupons, then I could just take those out. Now all they would get would be these items, right? And so I could take out text to screen too. So now when they signed up, all they'd get is blast keyword voting, polling, and autoresponders. Here I could set my quota for their account, which is how many messages that they uh, can send inside 30 days, or I can completely turn that off. Um, Tickets is not an option for you. And then tools. What tools do I want them to see? I don't want them to see collateral. I don't want them to see real estate. But I do want them to see kiosk creator and mobile sites, for instance. Or you can turn on collateral creator if you want to. Mm -hmm. Tutorial videos. What tutorials do I want them to be able to see? Uh, accounts and settings. Yes. Marketing platform, maybe. Real estate, no, because this isn't a real estate account. Or whatever you want them to see, you can turn that on or off. V-card on or off, depending on if it's a V-card account, or if you want to enable V-cards, uh, you can uh, do that there. So then I hit save. So now I know exactly what somebody's going to get when they signed up for standard plan one. And now I put in the pricing. So the pricing, maybe it's a $150 setup fee and $49 per month. Here I put in their included units. How many mobile sites do they get? One, none, whatever it is. How many included keywords do they get? Well, in this plan it was five. How many included MOs do they get? Unlimited MOs for United States accounts typically. How many uh, MTs or text messages sent out? Um, we're including 500 with the plan. What if they add an additional mobile website? I'm going to charge them $15 a month. What if they add additional keywords? I'm going to charge them $10. What if they send over their 500 messages? I'm going to charge them 0 0.03 cents per text message over the 500 that I include. And then I hit save. Once I do that, now the pricing plan is all set. Finally, I can go over now and I can search for my plan, which was standard. And there it is right there. There's my URL. I can click on that URL and I can send it via email to myself so I can forward it over to the client. If I just made a, for instance, instead of like having a paper contract and having to take it to somebody, I can go in and create a, a client plan, actually name it you know, the name of the restaurant that I'm signing up, for instance. And this is the plan that I created just especially for him because I did a custom plan. And then I can go and grab that URL and I can text it right to him. I can just click there and that will text it to me and then I can forward it right to him. Or I can click right there and that will email it to myself. And then I can grab the URL and I can, uh, you know, put it in the email. Or I can just go ahead and copy the URL. When I copy the URL, um, then I can, you know, paste it into an email or whatever the case may be. Or what I can do is link this to a button from my website. So again, if I was on uh, creating this website and I created a button to sign up now or I was working on my mobile website, all I had to do now is link that button right into the, uh, right to that page that I just created. I'll show you an example real quick. So what I'm going to go back here and do is jump into my mobile websites. Oh, did I copy? Let's make sure I copied my link here. So I got this link. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into my mobile websites. So here on my mobile site, for instance, I've created a buy now uh, page, and I've created. I put in the plan name, and I could change the colors and make it look nice. But I just did this one real quick, and I put what's included. And now at the bottom here. I could put in a little button for them to press and so I'm just going to upload an image. Choose the file. I could put an add to cart button or whatever I want it to be. So once I've uploaded the image that I want, now all I do is click link and I put the URL of the hosted signup page and I click OK. Now that button is there and I save the page. And now, anybody could see this, click the Buy Now, and when they click the Buy Now, it takes them right to the uh, hosted sign-up page, which looks great on a mobile device. So this looks great on a mobile device as well as a desktop site. And that's it. That's how easy it is. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, email us if you got any questions. Talk soon. Bye-bye.